Hello everybody, this is Diane from Diane's Diamond Painting Journey and how are you doing today? I hope everything's going good for you in your corner of the world. And yes, we're here for a post review. But first I want to say hello to all my subscribers. Glad to have you along for the ride. And that you come back and watch my videos and hit the like button and give me a comment. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Love the interaction. And if you're new here today, well, hi, welcome. I'm glad you found me. Um, mine is a purely a diamond painting channel. And as you see, now we're going to do a post review on this beautiful baby dragon. And if uh, you're new here at all and you like what you see today, well, you can hit that subscribe button. Down there somewhere. The red button and then hit the notification button and hit all and you'll be notified whenever I poke up a video because it's all over the place all over the place all over the place yeah so this is called tea dragon by stanley morrison and it is i gotta take up the washi tape to see the size 70 by 89 centimeters mamma jamma and it's square I gotta say, boy, I'm not minding doing squares lately. Yeah. Um, but don't get me wrong, rounds are my babies. Okay, loves me some rounds. My next one's around. So this beautiful creature, you got the tea drag, the dragon, and that's the brown side there, in the teacup. There's little claws. We got a little bee going over to say, "What are you doing, buddy?" Right? And I did put, uh, I'll show you after the eye, I did put two quad cubes in the eye. And we got this teacup, the handle. So this here is actually the tail of the dragon. And uh, I did, um, I used something different on the design of the teacup. Uh, I love how they use the snow white in the background. Because I think if they had to use the off-white, it just would not look so nice. It looks so gorgeous. Even my husband and stepson love this one, okay? All right. The boys likes it. Yeah. And But I did have a lot of trash, although I haven't saved the trash from this one. But I have got trash from my first one I'm doing now. Different colors, but we can say like the same amount of trash. There's a lot of trash. Uh, two of them are squares from the DAC. I'm getting a lot of holes in the top of the drills. Um, backs are fine, 99% of the time. Um, I'm getting some little tabbies. But they're not like you used to get. Like the, if it was a black uh, uh, drill, you'd have a little black tabby coming off. It was like a little beigey, see-through-ish type thing but it's a tab and a lot of hole uh, drills with holes in the top some are very small some are big or the sides now don't mind if you can see gaps in mine because like i can't place a drill straight to save my life and down oh now oh the tablecloth is gone because the back is uh so down here you got the, the, the teacup and some leaves and you got a nice flower here, although I did change the outside of this to a yellow, which I need to change back to something else because it doesn't let the flower pop out. Um, and I did put some white bees in the flower, that was it. But I didn't want to jazz this up with a lot of ABs and stuff because I didn't think it needed it. It's beautiful. Uh, and to what? Uh, up here somewhere I'll link the unboxing so you can uh, see what it looked like without a drill on it. So it's just, this baby is heavy. They're all heavy when they get them done though. So what I did over here, right now let's see if I can find it. Da, da, da. Where the heck? So now you can see the ABs and you see that yellow outline up on top here, right? Um, it looks much more yellower than what it really is so I need to uh, Take that out and put in, like, maybe the husband said uh, a darker orange than 
what those ABs are, which I think is totally right. And I did, um, oh yeah, hang on now, right here. So, there's a thing called, from DP, Diamond Painting with Sparklers, it's called Sp Sparklers for Squares. Yeah, they're round. But they're made small enough to fit on, they'll only fit on a square canvas. Now, you can see this golden color here. But in the daylight, this looks sort of green and it blends in with the, right? But look at this. It was called an orange pineapple glow. Isn't that gorgeous? And it does glow in the dark. <laughs> yep. So I put those in there. And I put two quad cubes, pearl. Because it called for white there anyway for the eye. So I put two quad cubes in there. And they're from DP with sparklers also. Just, you know, a little something, something. But it's, it's strange. I was actually, uh, this was around when the queen died. I did this in September. And um, I was doing this teacup. I was doing the part of the teacup here. So you saw how nice and goldy it looked, right? And I'm going, nah, I got to do something with this. The queen wouldn't drink out of a boring teacup. And that was just a thought that went in my head. <laughs> don't ask me. I don't know. So anyway, I got out my uh, spark. I looked through my square stuff. And whatever stuff I got is from DP with sparklers. And um, I was went, I'm going to try to sparklers for squares. Now, that's what she calls her crystal sparklers, all right? And, um, and some were actually made out of glass. Wow. So I got the gold ones out, and we hemmed and hawed, and I went, all right, doing it. And that's what I did. But, now, I set for the trash, which, it is a square diamond canvas. There are over 99,000 little individual squares on this, on this mother. <laughs> I still had enough to do my canvas with. <laughs> Excuse me one second. I'll take a sip of my drink. I wasn't worried one bit about running any, out of anything. And, um, I mean, even though I did use these, I mean, I still would have had enough colors uh, with the original colors to put in there. But I just love them. I got a mystery kit from this guy, too, uh, Stanley Morrison. And it's another... Um, he does a lot of uh, little dragons and teacups <laughs> i love them i got two favorite dragon people but the stickiness was great the canvas clarity was great dak i mean you know you got your velvety back uh, on the self-flattening canvas you got way down in the corner we have our oh Thumbnail down there. I know it, it's sort of sticking to the tablecloth. So I'm sorry about that. It's, it's, so it's a little bit hard to move around. And um, lots of drills. It just took me the whole month of September. So I'm, I'm actually I'm very happy with that. Lots of people have it done in two weeks. But hello, bad eyesight. And I always take my time even though I'm multi-place. Uh, I love the way it worked out. I love the rendering. They have a few like little um, ABs in amongst some of the scales here, just to highlight the scales. I like that a lot. I was first thinking maybe if they had to put some ABs out here, but then now that I see it, but this is a really crisp white background, I'm going. No, I'm glad they didn't. Like I said, now I put a little bit of AB here in this flower, but it's not anything smacking the face AB. So I didn't want to overpower it. And I like this way here, it, the way it looks like it like it was that color to start with until you actually look at it. And then you get, what? That's round. It's on squares. So anybody that um, shops at DP with sparklers, uh, diamond painting with sparklers from Tina, if you've often wondered about the sparklers for squares, and she usually writes an S and a number four and an S, uh, they work fine. <laughs> They're the exact same because square dot drills are 2.5 millimeters 
and rounds are either 2.7 or 2.8. So you can't put rounds, normal rounds on this. She's gotten these ones that are made to go on a square or diamond painting. Can't do anything better than that. Love the colors. Love the quality. I'll give it a nine and a half just because of the trash. And uh, but other than that, I had no problem. I didn't even have to use my uh, light pad. So, if it's still in the store, it's called Tea Dragon by Stanley Morrison. Go up and grab yourself one if you're a dragon fan that... <clears throat> I usually don't like the dragons that are all like, oh, mean and shooting people with, with fire and stuff. I like the cute ones. Not cartoonish, but cute. So, there you go. My post review is, go out and buy one. So that means it's really good. And no, you did not have to change this. This was just me. The colors that were here were just fine. Yeah, I love it. I, and, and I love the feel of a... Another creator said that recently. Love the feel of a square canvas because you don't get those little bumps you do with a round one. <laughs> it's weird, but there you go. So, my review... Nine and a half out of ten on because of the trash. Uh, other than that, I mean, but it's, like I said, I still had loads of drills. So I could be picky. Because I put this on the wall and anyone would do it. If you put your diamond painting on the wall, the first thing you're going to see is that darnation drill that got something wrong with it. <laughs> out of all the drills that are on it, you're going to find that one that you should have not put on the canvas. <laughs> and you know I'm telling you the truth, right? Because this happened to you. I know it. Mm, so, there you go. This one I think is going on the bedroom wall. I don't know what's going to happen there, you know. That's <laughs> a good sign or not. Hubby actually suggested that. He said, let's put this in the bedroom. I went, okay, you really like it? He said, yeah. I went, cool. Because I don't want to put him in a box either because he's too cute. All right, now I'm really going to let you go. This is long enough for a post review. And, oh, not before I get to give you this big squishy hug. Because oh, everybody needs a hug. Hugs are the best. I don't care what anybody says. Hugs are the best. And we'll see you next time. Whenever I happen to plop up a video. And I hope you all enjoyed. And hit that like button on your way out. So bye for now. And we'll see you next time. Bye.